Hello friends, I am Dr. Saurabh Patwadhan from Nandadeep Eye Hospital PG Teaching Institute and FECO SICS Training Center, Sangli, Maharashtra, India. In our center, we have a lot of teaching activities which includes hands-on training as well. In this video, I'll be discussing a case of a long anterior zonules and grade 2 cataract and I am going to show how to use a C cartridge for Alcon 3-piece IOLs. So this is a case. You can see those zonules which are inserted quite anteriorly. So they are coming almost within say 3 to 4 millimeter of the uh, this anterior lens capsule and we call it long anterior zonules. Now, uh, if you ask me surgically it doesn't make much of a difference if you are using a forceps to make the capsule axis just you need to be careful not to go too much into periphery with cystitome sometimes there is a problem because there are zonular attachments and you need to use more force and I would prefer always a forceps in these cases so that I have got better control and uh, the zonules are basically getting broken those which are anteriorly placed but the other zonules are intact so I don't find any issue in these cases with the stability of the bag and there is this hydrodissection you have seen my video on secret of hydrodissection just watch go to the periphery whenever you have that resistance start pushing more that's the key to have complete hydrodissection over there and I generally rotate the nucleus with the same cannula but uh, I think begin beginners can do it with a dialer that's better and this is a grade 2 cataract best cataract to practice your techniques so in this case I am doing the half trench chop technique where I made the half trench and then I am going to bury it in always use only longitudinal FECO for chopping the torsional doesn't work that well so I am going to use some longitudinal burst there bury it in then use your 1 mm Sinsky to push inside the nucleus and then split them and the first piece is out now I'm doing quadrant removal I generally use pulse torsional FECO here for the quadrant removal that saves uh, some amount of FECO energy now watch my FECO tip all the time it tries to stay at the center just near that Perkinje image never cross those Perkinje image go beyond the midline and try to use your non-dominant hand to push the pieces to the center I think that's the best way and that's the most safe way to take out these nucleus pieces so uh, just keep your FECO tip very very steady while doing quadrant removal that's the key for safe surgery now for sub incisional cortex removal now just watch as I remove the cortex it's the sideways motion when I grab hold of the cortex which makes it easier to remove rather than just centripetal you know pulling so learn that sideways movement of the IA tip and for sub incisional watch that I am consciously keeping the irrigation always inside again here I don't withdraw the tip this is the three piece Alcon IOL I am going to hold optic at the edge never hold at the center and I'm going to use the C cartridge you can see here it goes through 2.8 mm incision and I'm going to hold the optic at the edge again and carefully going to place it inside the cartridge now just watch as I push it in the flat part of the forceps I'm going to use it to push it down a bit just watch again press the optic down a bit using the flat side just a bit don't press too hard just to bend it little bit posteriorly there and then push the optic inside till the point where the trailing haptic turns downward like this okay that is the point till which it you should push now put it over the injector this is monarch 2 injector and wash the plunger very carefully going over the trailing haptic so it doesn't damage the trailing haptic there now push the optic till the point where the cartridge is not yet narrow so if the aisle is pushed right till the end of the cart that's when it can get kinked so always push it till only this point and leave it like that and now when you are injecting push the aisle in a steady movement and do not stop in between so it doesn't give time for that leading haptic to get kinked so just watch the injector has to press against this incision you do not want it to come out 
and then in a steady fashion just inject it without stopping in between so the leading heptic doesn't get kinked and that's the key so you can use the 3 piece oil through 2.8 incision you don't necessarily need to enlarge it to 3.2 for using the B cartridge and then the trailing haptic is flicked and then the next thing is push that optic inside the bag so the optic goes inside the bag and now it's the time to push the trailing haptic in the bag now I will show you how uh, it has to be done so why pusher and osher are better but here I am using Sinsky and this is the commonest thing which happens that the trailing haptic doesn't go inside the bag so in that case do not pull the haptic or do not try to pull the haptic in the bag rather just rotate the haptic again into a position from where you can push the haptic inside the bag and the same technique has to be followed for non foldable aisles as well now you can see I am pushing the haptic down and then it goes inside the bag so never try to pull the haptic in but rather push the haptic in the bag that's the best trick so that is another thing which uh, may get the surgeons into trouble after placing the three piece aisle that how to get the trailing haptic in the bag so some new tips in this video do watch and comment on this video also share with your colleagues and uh, there are a lot of other videos on my youtube channel you can go through the playlist there are many good basic steps videos many new tips and tricks which you will definitely find it useful so do subscribe and keep watching thank you